matrix. This is the one I aim to invert. To invert. So I will follow the same, same procedure. I will augment this. This is the augmentation. This is the augmentation. Don't pay attention much to what happens on the right-hand side. Pay attention to what happens on the left-hand side because that's the one which drives our choice of, a, of row operations. So again, the first half of the process I will hide. This is the half which take us, takes us to the row echelon form. That's, that's why I have these dots. There are some steps there, quite a few, which you have to take in order to bring this to the row echelon form. This is the one here. This is the one here. See, that's a, this is a perfect triangular shape. This is a row echelon form. Every, every next row has more zeros on the left than the row above it. But this is not enough for the, idea, for the inverse. We need to move it, we need to transfer the, uh, transition it further in order to achieve the identity on this side. And that will be achieved if we start finishing the content above the diagonal. So I aim to have some zeros here, which is a good help, but I still have this five and this two to deal with. And if I aim to do so, my first choice will be first, because I need ones on the diagonal as well, so I will probably scale my third row first to unity. It's a very minor thing. A lot of the content of the matrix gets repeated. Only the last row, which changes, that's why I don't insist on you actually taking the notes in, in detail, because it's a lot to write, but very little change. And that's why you'll have a chance, you, you will revisit this later again, to check the arithmetic and see what happens else on this slide. So that's what happened after I canceled out two from the last row. Now I can use this one to vanish this five. The suggestion for the... That's the row operation I suggest to do. I use my third row five times and add it to the first one. That will achieve the effect of zeroing this one and doesn't change anything else because of these zeros in here. This is the result of this. Mm. No, this is not the result of this. Yeah, this is just the, oh, the wrong metrics, but it's fine. We'll, we'll fix this. It's just, this is just a literate copy of that. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a typo on the slide, but we'll fix this. I'll just kill this. I duplicate that, and I'll do the alterations. That will be the first row, right? So if I do that, this doesn't change. This doesn't change. This was, this is zero. Oh, sorry. This is zero, as intended. This one. The right hand, oh, sorry, just, this will be zero as intended. This will require some computations. I will do this right now in front of you. So what I did, I took five of this and added a negative five of this and added here. So it will be 25 in this place. It will be 25 in this place. It will be uh, negative 5 of this, add it here, it will be negative 5 plus 1, it will be negative 4 here. And in this place I'll have negative 5 of this and 0, it's negative 10 in here. Yeah, that's the correct one, I'm sorry. I think the, the rest should be fine. So my next step will be cancelling out 4 from the second row. This is a cancel. This is a cancellation. And then if I cancel that, that that's, this is the matrix I'm, I'm going to have. Yeah, you see my computations, they match up with my content here. 25, negative 4, negative 10. I cancel out 4 from the second row, which made it 0, 1, 0, half, 0, 0. It's fine. Now I'm using this 1. To vanish, the, to vanish this two. The row operation, which I suggest, is this one. It's the two of the second row, which I take away from the first row. If I do so, that will be exactly, that will deliver zero in this place. That will not gonna, that, that's, that's not gonna change this two. Hmm. 
This is the result of that transition. You see, my two went into zero. Something changed on this side. We can see what happened, right? For instance, we just took two of this and subtracted, subtracted from 25. Sorry, yes, yeah, right. Two of this, we subtracted from 25. That's one, that's 24. Then two of these taken from negative four change nothing. Two of these taken from negative 10 change nothing. Right. This is a step, and this is a step as well. The last transition I'll need, I'll need to cancel two from the first row. This is a cancellation of the two from the first row. And the result of that cancellation delivers identity on the left-hand side, sharp. The result of that cancellation delivers identity on the left-hand side sharp. Now I can take the right-hand side of my final result and declare that as my inverse. 